I cannot hear at the New Year's concert the Blue Danube Bulls. I cannot hear it because I listen. I can hear at the same times the shots and the cry and the, the fear of these people. The whole site were posted loudspeakers, and all the time they played the Blue Danube Bulls, and that went on for 24 hours. And they killed in this time more than 18,000 people. Can you imagine how many people these are? artist uh, from Vienna. Um, my parents are Austrian. I started in Vienna and right after my diploma left to live in Japan. I had fallen in love with a Korean uh, painter who studied his postgraduate study course in Vienna and well we had a son and so the three of us, we went to live with his parents in Tokyo for about seven years. Our daughter was born there, and in the summer of 68, we returned uh, to Austria. And immediately, or shortly after that, my husband had to return to Korea due to family reasons, tragic reasons. And I was left with the two children um, in a very difficult situation and immediately I tried to start to find work. I went back to my university and I was received uh, uh, immediately and I could start to work uh, by the autumn of 68. Yeah. Life was difficult but started to arrange uh, itself in a good way. We missed my husband very much. After two or three years, I think it was 1970, maybe 1971, but all artists, uh, members of the Artist Association and working at the University of Applied and of Fine Arts received an invitation by the Polish Embassy to donate a piece of art, a work, to the Museum of Majdanek. Nobody of us had heard ever from Majdanek and not of a museum there. Majdanek was never a topic in our political education. It was never mentioned in Austria. So together with the information came a leaflet of, with the invitation came a leaflet of information. And it shocked me very much. There I was then traveling to Majdanek the first time.
I was all of a sudden on this place of crime, this place of horrible former crime where so many Austrian people were inf involved and, and piled guilt on guilt. And this guilt is still sticking not only to those who were the criminals then, it is sticking to whole Austria. So when I was there, I felt so helpless and so, I cannot explain these words. It still stings into my heart when I remember. So many countries, the people, all those people. to Austria, I developed my films. I was so afraid to be with these negatives in my dark room. I must tell you, I did hide them. I did really hide them. And then Austria developed um, a scandal with a new pr um, president called Mr. Waldheim, who was uh, quite a Nazi in his years. And when when the ambivalency of treatment of this causa in Austria reached a certain level, that so many people defended Waldheim and his past and defended everybody's past, defended all the old Nazis' past, then without further discussion I took out the negatives and I developed them. I didn't discuss the matter with anybody. and the perversity that those people who ordered the death of all these could go home and play with the children after that in the evening. They played chamber Bach at home in this white house over there. You know, the, this was the house of the Gestapo leader, an Austrian guy. He could be so perverted that he, during the day, could order and kill with his own hands so many people and then go home and be a nice father. But on the way to home, he could, he could have forced beautiful young Jewish ladies to be at his will. This is what still, I, I, I don't know how to live with the knowledge of that.
Wherever I went, I could find Vienna near them. Of course, the only, in parentheses, made technical equipment, but they were one of those who participated eagerly. I was already changing as an artist, but still I was not, I have not been purified enough. I went to Warsaw with the belief, oh, I have an exhibition opening, I have to give a speech, I prepared a nice speech, I was dressed nicely, and when I came to this gallery, waiting for a normal gallery public, you know, people who are interested in art to come,